Welcome to 12731 Timber Run in Dade City, Florida. If you are not familiar with Dade City, Florida, it's just a little bit north of Tampa and I would say probably about 15 minutes north of Wesley Chapel. Now this property on Timber Run is located on a U-shaped street between the city of Dade City and the city of San Antonio and St. Leo, the township of St. Leo. It's only about a mile from St. Leo University. The house sits at the bottom of the U. So I'm going to take a turn around so you can see what's across the street. You'll see some very uh, lovely homes in this neighborhood. And this home sits at the bottom of the U shape. So you can see the road goes right there and then there, and it sits very close to the intersection of Old State Road 52 and Happy Hill Road. So if you're familiar with the Dade City area, Timber Run is tucked back on one of those streets back there. So we have a very long driveway. So if you have lots of drivers in your household, there's plenty of parking. You can see there's a nice sized storage shed right there, which I will take you into later. So to just show you, you've got the two car garage here. You've got a sidewalk that goes around to the back of the house. And then you've got parking for at least three cars in front of the driveway here. Got a little extra parking right here and plenty of room to navigate around. This home is located in a neighborhood of under 50 homes. There's no HOA and there's no CDD. There's a little nook right here if you happen to be some sort of gardener and like to do a little display here, you could do that. Even put a little fountain there. This home was built in 2003 by a custom builder. Custom builder is local. His name is Bob Larkin. And the home sits on 0.81 of an acre. So it's a little bit bigger than three quarters of an acre and not quite an acre. Now this isn't what you would consider a farm type property because you can tell it's in a neighborhood of homes, but what that acreage does, what that lot size does, is it will give you space between you and your neighbor. You can see that there's a lovely traditional front porch. It's covered. There are fans here. so. You can have a nice cool breeze going while you sit out here. The siding is hardy plank. And we will go inside. As you walk into the home, you are greeted by the beautiful staircase. Some wood flooring. Lovely chandelier. There's crown molding in the foyer. Lots of light coming through. So I will stop here and give you a little point of reference. To the left, when you walk in, you will have your formal dining room. This is a little hallway going towards the kitchen over here, the living area here. We've got a primary suite here. We'll start by going through the very sizable dining room. This has crown molding, also has the same flooring. They have left the built in wine glass holder and the window treatments. 
and a lovely chandelier. Now you can get a pretty good sized table in here. I think that they had seating for at least eight, maybe 10. And now we are going into the kitchen. Now this is a brick flooring. It is brick. It's very durable. Granite countertops. And they're very good thickness. Lots of outlets. There's a triple sink. One with a garbage disposal. The cooktop is a Kenmore. Lots of cooktop cooking space on top here. This is for recycle and garbage. Lots and lots of outlets. So if you have kitchen appliances galore, you will easily be able to find an outlet for them. Pull out, fantastic for your canned goods and different storage. The Lazy Susan. Good storage for your baking sheets. More pull outs. Plenty and plenty of storage. There's plenty of room here for an island. In fact, the seller had an island piece of furniture. Uh, that they had right here and so they use that as a um, it was butcher block type they use that as a prep area we've got a wine or beverage fridge that's included this does include filtered water it's an lg And ice maker. Okay. Double oven. It's Ken Moore. Storage. Storage. And an LG dishwasher. Now this is a breakfast bar here. And I believe they had one, two, three, four, five stools here. And then this is another dining nook. Comfortably get another table right here with uh, imagine a long table here with uh, bench seating would be perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna stop and give you a point of reference again. There's the front door. When you walk in on this side immediately would be your formal dining room. And then we came in through the formal dining room into the kitchen area. And then we have the dining, an additional dining area. You've got your breakfast nook. You've got the pass through area here. So we're staying on this side of the home. So to the left here of the kitchen, you have a powder room. It's been nicely updated. This home, by the way, is 3,008 square feet living. 
This accent wall has recently been added. Think shiplap style. This also has the brick flooring. And there's a window to the little nook that we passed outside. This door will lead to the two car garage. And then this is the laundry closet. It's right before you get to the garage. And you have storage shelves here. And the stackable LG washer and dryer are included. Okay, and then we also have these built-in uh, almost buffet areas or drop zone. You could come in from the garage, drop your uh, phone, charge it there. Wonderful extra storage. And before we go into the great room, we're going to stop here and look at this storage area, which is directly across from the kitchen pass through. And this area is very spacious, so it is easy to set out food here and have people standing here at the breakfast area uh, at the island that you would add if you wanted to do so very easily. There's a lot of good flow going through this area. And again, it's wide enough and you have plenty of additional storage in these wonderful cubbies that are built in. You can put things uh, on display here or you can use it for storage like they have done down here. Put your seasonal decor up and make it very festive. And now going into the great room, this accent wall is very similar to what you will see in the powder room. Quite easily fit a wraparound sectional type sofa right here could go in either direction. You could hang your television here. You could hang a television there as they did so. And then the view from here, let's give you a sneak peek here. This is the sun deck. Okay. Now we will move on to the primary suite, which as you can see from the front door for your staircase, the location, the doorway is behind the staircase. Underneath that staircase, before we go into the primary suite, is your typical under the stairs storage. Here is the primary bedroom. You can see that it does have crown molding all the way around. This carpeting is in pretty good shape and it's more of a luxurious finish. There are a couple of decorative light fixtures. It, this room easily accommodates a king bed and furniture. Now there is a hallway that leads to the bathroom and the closets. So the first closet that I'm going to show you is on the left side of the hallway. And this is actually a dressing room. It has the same flooring that you will see in the foyer and dining room. Let's take this in for a moment. This has got crown molding, lots and lots and lots of storage. This is without a doubt my favorite room in the whole home. Get 
that you could hang something on that. There's plenty of hanging room here. He's got one, two, three different hanging racks and um, a lot of shelving space. There's plenty of room for bags and shoes. There's even a hook in here. You can hang a coat there if you want it to. This area here, I believe, is ideal for hanging uh, your daytime jewelry. So this is the dressing room area. How fabulous. Okay, and now to the double vanity area. It does have two sinks, two mirrors, a very, very pretty stone. This is beautiful. Undermount sink. Those are soft close drawers here. It's a lovely touch. Lots of storage. And now as I turn around, there's another closet. And this is what I consider really a mini dressing room. There are drawers and plenty of hanging space. Lots of room for folded t-shirts or sweaters or pants, jeans. I believe this is a tie, tie rack. There is um, a square tile floor after you get to the double vanity area. And then in this closet area is a laminate flooring. And then we are now in the bathroom area. And I want to show you that this has what they call a pocket door. I call that a pocket door because it goes in a little pocket. Okay, so that's a space saver. You have a freestanding shower with jets that come out and then that um, overhead. So you get a really nice shower experience. If you prefer to have a tub experience, there is a jetted tub here. And then there is your commode. I almost forgot. There is a linen closet. As you come up the stairs to the top, you can see that the landing is wood and that there is crown molding all the way around here. To give you an idea, you've got two bedrooms on one side of the staircase and two bedrooms on the other side with a bathroom in between. first bedroom upstairs has a lot of bright light as there are three windows in here. I'll give you a little view. It overlooks the street side. And there is the tree house. This room has crown molding and two closets. And this is uh, the same flooring that is downstairs. As far as size of this room, I believe it would very comfortably accommodate a full-size bed. I think that would be the best fit if you wanted a single uh, bed in here, but you could put bunk beds in here as well if you felt the need to do so. It's still a spacious bedroom. It just is a bedroom that is smaller than the others. It's a pretty room. 
Okay, and now we come into this bedroom. Technically, it has the same amount of windows. It has carpet. There's that tree house for point of reference. This would easily accommodate a king, a couple of twins, a queen easily. Lots of furniture options in here. You could do a sitting zone over here, a desk for studying. You could put the bed against, uh, you know, this wall back here. Lots of options for clothing storage as well. The bedroom on the other side of the bathroom, right there, is mirror image to the last bedroom that we just saw. Plenty of closet storage, and it is ready for you to apply your preferred paint color. The two-car garage is right here. And then we have the final bedroom here, also has carpet. very much a bright room also ready for you to select your own paint color this home was occupied by a very large family through the course of time when they built it in 2003 until they just recently downsized a bit they raised 10 kids here and the kids had the choice to paint their room from time to time what a great idea so it is maybe not your choice of color, but it's ready to accept a new coat of paint to reflect your own creativity. And finally, we have the upstairs full bathroom, which has a couple of different areas. First of all, I wanna point out that the entrance door is another pocket door so clever and such a great use of space then there is a very sizable linen closet with outlets in here there is a double vanity and this stone is very similar to what you see in the primary bathroom and then there is a full mirror that goes across both of the sinks the flooring is tile. And then you have another pocket door here. You have a full tub and shower. And this is a fairly deep tub. plenty of area to put shampoos and such. And then you have your commode here. So someone could be brushing their teeth here and someone could be using this private space here because of the pocket door right here. Now it's time to go check out the back patio and sun deck in the backyard. So we go through the foyer, past the primary suite, past the kitchen here, past the great room here, say hi to the powder room and laundry and entrance to the garage there, and we come outside to the screened-in patio. Overlooking that point eight one acres in Florida having outdoor space is awesome because even though it's a little hot and muggy during the summer months <laughs> you get fantastic weather typically in the winter and so you can have a nice patio set here open up those French doors there and take advantage of the breeze that comes through when you leave the screened in patio area you come out to this very oversized sun deck and it overlooks a conservation area that is on the property that's part of the property 
the lot size is again 0.81 of an acre and it's not a rectangle or a square is an a regular size irregular size lot and you can ask your realtor to provide you the shape of the lot they have access to that information and if you're looking for a property disclosure as well we can get that to you through your realtor just ask your realtor so you might say what on earth was the sun deck for it's a lot of sun deck well this home was the host of many gatherings birthdays holidays and there were a lot of people that would come here. So you would have people on outdoor furniture out here. It was all staged with beautiful outdoor couches and tables and, and the screen patio also had its own table. And then of course you had the inside area on that wall there where you see those three windows, that is where the great room is. That's the other side of the great room. So people could be in there, they would look out, they would see different generations of people hanging out in different spots. And so this home really can accommodate a lot of people, a lot of different generations, and everyone can have a wonderful time here. Then you've got things like the tree house and the wide open yard and green space. Imagine playing cornhole here, or listen, if you wanted to have a swimming pool here, you totally could do that because even though this home is on septic, the owner was strategic when they built the house and they did put the septic system on the side of the primary suite over here. So it will not interfere with the ability to install a nice pool. They just never got around to doing it. And then finally, last but not least, we have the outdoor storage or you can use it as a shop this is the shed now uh fair warning it is still being emptied out but i want you to get an idea of the scope of it plenty of storage in here and the garage is also still being emptied out so i will not be opening that for you today there are two separate ac units in this home and I mentioned the septic the water is water from city of Dade City even though you're not in the city limits if you have any questions about this property please ask your realtor they will be able to get the answers that you need for 12731 timber run in Dade City Florida